The struggle with pornography addiction can feel like a solitary battle, fought in the quiet corners of our minds. Yet, you are not alone. Ancient wisdom, specifically the philosophy of Stoicism, offers a powerful framework for breaking free from its grip. Today, we embark on a journey illuminated by Stoicism, guiding you from the shadows of addiction towards the light of liberation. This path isn't paved with quick fixes. It demands introspection, discipline, and unwavering resolve. But with each step, you'll gain strength and clarity, reclaiming control over your thoughts and actions. Let's delve deeper into seven key principles of Stoicism that can empower you on this transformative odyssey. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. 1. The Anatomy of Desire Recognizing the internal enemy. Imagine yourself standing in a bustling marketplace. Sounds and sights bombard you from every direction. A baker tempts you with the aroma of fresh bread. A street performer draws your eye with a dazzling display. A merchant's voice sings the praises of his exotic wares. This marketplace represents your mind, a constant flow of desires vying for your attention. Some desires are harmless. The craving for a delicious pastry, the curiosity sparked by a juggling act. However, others can be detrimental, like the allure of something readily available, yet ultimately unhealthy. This is where pornography addiction takes root. Stoicism teaches us that unchecked desires act as tyrants, dictating our choices and leading us down destructive paths. The initial appeal of pornography might feel overwhelming, a tsunami wave threatening to sweep you off your feet. Images and videos are carefully crafted to trigger the pleasure centers of your brain, hijacking your rational thought and creating a sense of urgency. Here's the crucial realization. These desires originate within your own mind. They are not external forces, but internal impulses fueled by a complex web of thoughts, emotions, and past experiences. Maybe you associate pornography with a sense of escape from stress or loneliness. Perhaps it provides a distorted sense of intimacy or fulfillment. By acknowledging this internal origin, you take the first crucial step towards reclaiming control. Think of yourself as a skilled archer. Your target is your well-being, a state of peace and fulfillment. However, the winds of desire can easily push your arrow off course. Stoicism encourages you to become a self-aware archer constantly observing the internal winds that influence your aim. Here's how you can develop this awareness. Identify your triggers. What situations, emotions, or even times of day make you more susceptible to pornography use? Is it boredom in the evening? Stress before a deadline? Journaling can be a powerful tool for uncovering these triggers. Understand the root cause. What needs are you trying to fulfill by using pornography? Are you seeking a sense of connection, excitement, or validation? Addressing the underlying need with healthier coping mechanisms weakens the pull of pornography. Observe your thoughts. Before diving headfirst into pornography, what justifications or rationalizations play out in your mind? Challenge these negative thought patterns. Ask yourself, is this truly serving my well-being? By dissecting the anatomy of desire, you gain a deeper understanding of your inner landscape. You expose the illusion of external control exerted by pornography and recognize the true power lies within you. This awareness empowers you to make conscious choices, aligning your actions with your long-term goals and true values. It's the first step on the path, from the chaos of the marketplace to the sanctuary of mindful control. Two, the art of acceptance, embracing what you cannot control. Imagine yourself caught in a sudden downpour. Raindrops lash against your face, blurring your vision. The wind whips your clothes around you, and the once comfortable path becomes a slick, 
treacherous surface. The urge to curse the weather, to desperately seek shelter, might be overwhelming. This scenario mirrors the experience of encountering a trigger for pornography use. A wave of cravings crashes over you, leaving you feeling exposed and vulnerable. The familiar urge to seek solace in pornography, a seemingly quick escape, might be strong. However, Stoicism teaches a powerful lesson. Acceptance. Acceptance doesn't imply resignation or apathy. It's the art of acknowledging what lies beyond your control and focusing your energy on what you can influence. You cannot control the existence of triggers or cravings. They are like the sudden downpour, unexpected, disruptive, and unavoidable. However, you can control how you respond to them. Here's how the concept of acceptance empowers you, distinguishing the controllable from the uncontrollable. Stoicism encourages you to draw a clear line between what you can and cannot change. Triggers and cravings fall into the uncontrollable category. Accepting this reality prevents you from wasting energy on futile attempts to control the weather or eliminate these internal sensations. Embracing present moment. The urge for pornography often arises due to a dissatisfaction with the present moment. Maybe you're bored, stressed, or lonely. Acceptance encourages you to fully experience the present, even if it's uncomfortable. Acknowledge the emotions without judgment and recognize they are temporary occurrences not permanent states of being. Detaching from the urge. Cravings for pornography are like strong winds buffeting you in all directions. Acceptance allows you to step back and observe these urges with detachment. You don't have to fight them directly. Instead, acknowledge their presence and choose not to be swept away by them. Here are some practical tools to cultivate acceptance. Mindfulness practices. Meditation allows you to train your mind to observe thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. As you become more mindful, you can observe the urge for pornography arise and pass without acting upon it. Deep breathing exercises. When a trigger arises, take slow, deep breaths. This simple act activates the body's relaxation response, counteracting the tension and anxiety that fuel cravings. Mantras, repeating a positive affirmation, like this feeling is temporary, can ground you in the present moment and prevent you from being consumed by the urge. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. It's about acknowledging the storm you're in and choosing not to be swept away by it. It allows you to focus your energy on what you can control. Your thoughts, actions, and responses Imagine yourself putting on a raincoat and grabbing a sturdy umbrella. You can't control the rain, but you can choose to navigate the downpour with grace and resilience. This empowered state of mind paves the way for the next step on your journey, building the discipline to forge a new path. 3. Forging your will. The power of discipline. Imagine yourself standing before a lump of unyielding clay. It's cold inert, and seemingly resistant to your touch. You have a vision, a beautiful sculpture waiting to be born from this formless mass. But transforming this potential into reality requires discipline. The consistent application of effort and skill, overcoming pornography, addiction, shares this quality. It demands a commitment to reshape your thoughts and behaviors, a dedication to mold yourself into the person you aspire to be. Discipline isn't about brute force or harsh self-criticism. It's a conscious and deliberate practice, a steady drip that eventually carves a path through stone. Stoicism emphasizes discipline as the cornerstone of developing virtue. Through consistent effort, you cultivate the mental fortitude to resist the pull of pornography. Here's how discipline empowers you on this journey. Building new neural pathways. Our brains are wired through repeated experiences. 
Pornography use creates neural pathways that make it easier to seek out and engage with it in the future. Discipline allows you to establish new pathways that support your recovery. By consistently engaging in healthy alternatives, you strengthen these new connections, making it easier to resist the familiar allure of pornography, replacing triggers with alternatives. Identify the situations, emotions, or even times of day that trigger your cravings for pornography. Discipline empowers you to replace these triggers with healthier alternatives. For instance, if boredom is a trigger, replace aimless browsing with engaging in a hobby you enjoy. Feeling stressed, discipline yourself to take a brisk walk or practice relaxation techniques instead of resorting to pornography, developing self-awareness. Discipline allows you to become more attuned to your internal cues. You learn to recognize the subtle shifts in mood or thought patterns that precede a craving. With this awareness, you can intervene early on, employing coping mechanisms before the urge intensifies. Here are some practical ways to cultivate discipline. Start small. Celebrate wins. Don't overwhelm yourself with drastic changes. Begin with small, achievable goals, like resisting pornography for a day or engaging in a healthy activity for 30 minutes. Celebrating these victories reinforces positive behavior and fuels motivation. Set realistic expectations. Relapses are a natural part of the recovery process. Discipline isn't about achieving perfection. It's about consistently getting back on track after a setback. Treat relapses as learning opportunities, analyze what triggered them, and adjust your approach accordingly. Find an accountability partner, sharing your journey with a trusted friend, a therapist, or support group can be immensely helpful. An accountability partner offers encouragement, keeps you motivated, and celebrates your progress. Remember, discipline is a journey, not a destination. There will be days when the clay feels particularly unyielding and the path forward seems unclear. However, with consistent effort and self-compassion, you can transform yourself from someone struggling with addiction to someone who has sculpted a life of fulfillment and well-being. The power lies within you waiting to be unleashed through the steady practice of discipline. As you move forward, remember the sculptor's dedication shaping their vision into reality, one purposeful action at a time. Four, the guiding star, living in accordance with virtue. Imagine yourself traversing a vast desert, the sun beating down mercilessly. The sand stretches endlessly in all directions. The horizon, a shimmering mirage. You yearn for a destination, a guiding star to illuminate your path and lead you to safety. In your fight against pornography addiction, Stoicism offers you just that. A constellation of virtues to guide you towards a life of fulfillment. These virtues aren't abstract ideals. They are practical principles that act as a compass, directing your choices towards a meaningful existence. Here are the four cardinal virtues of Stoicism and how they illuminate your path to freedom from pornography addiction. Wisdom. This virtue encourages the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. In the context of addiction, it translates to seeking knowledge about the nature of pornography. Its impact on your well-being and alternative coping mechanisms. By educating yourself, you make informed decisions that align with your long-term goals. For instance, understanding the psychological manipulation employed by pornography empowers you to see it for what it truly is, a distorted and unrealistic depiction of intimacy. This wisdom allows you to make conscious choices that nurture genuine connection and healthy relationships. Courage. This virtue 
isn't about the absence of fear. It's about acting in accordance with what you believe is right, even when faced with challenges. Overcoming pornography addiction requires courage to confront your desires, resist temptation, and persevere through setbacks. It takes courage to acknowledge the negative impact pornography has on your life and to disrupt ingrained patterns of behavior. However, this courage is your greatest weapon. It empowers you to say no to instant gratification and choose a path towards long-term well-being, justice. This virtue emphasizes fairness and acting with integrity. In the fight against addiction, it translates to treating yourself with compassion and fairness. It means acknowledging your struggles without self-judgment and celebrating your victories, big or small. It also means setting healthy boundaries in your relationships and refusing to engage in activities that compromise your values. By acting with justice towards yourself, you build self-respect and inner strength. This empowers you to resist the manipulative tactics of pornography and cultivate a healthy sense of self-worth. A foundation for building fulfilling relationships, temperance. This virtue emphasizes moderation and self-control. It encourages you to avoid extremes and find a healthy balance in all aspects of your life. In the context of addiction, it translates to managing your urges and desires, engaging in healthy alternatives, and avoiding triggers. Temperance doesn't mean complete abstinence from pleasure. It's about identifying healthy outlets for your desires and enjoying them in moderation. For instance, if you use pornography for stress relief, cultivating relaxation techniques like meditation or exercise offers a healthier alternative. Living in accordance with these virtues isn't about achieving some unattainable state of perfection. It's about striving for continuous improvement, making conscious choices that align with your values, and treating yourself with compassion along the way. As you integrate these virtues into your life, you'll find a renewed sense of purpose and direction. The desert landscape will no longer feel endless. Instead, you'll see it as a vast terrain with countless opportunities for growth and transformation. The guiding stars of stoic virtue will illuminate your path, leading you towards a life of freedom, authenticity, and genuine fulfillment. Five, cultivating awareness, seeing through the illusion. Imagine yourself standing before a beautifully crafted stage set. Lights cast a warm glow. Props are meticulously arranged, and actors deliver lines with practiced ease. However, a closer look reveals the illusion. The painted backdrop hides a bare wall. The lush foliage conceals a network of wires, and the passionate romance unfolds according to a predetermined script. Pornography operates in a similar fashion. It presents a carefully orchestrated illusion of intimacy, excitement, and fulfillment. However, Beneath the glossy surface lies a distorted reality that fuels addiction and undermines genuine connection. Stoicism equips you with the tools of awareness, allowing you to see through this illusion and reclaim your emotional well-being. Cultivating awareness isn't about achieving a state of constant vigilance. It's about developing a keen and non-judgmental observation of your thoughts, emotions, and the world around you. Here's how awareness empowers you in your fight against pornography. Identifying triggers. The first step is acknowledging the situations, emotions, or even times of day that make you more susceptible to pornography use. Are you more likely to reach for it when feeling lonely or bored? Awareness allows you to identify the patterns and anticipate when cravings might arise, understanding the distortions. Pornography thrives on portraying an exaggerated and unrealistic version of intimacy. By becoming aware of these distortions, 
you can weaken their hold on you. Notice the lack of genuine emotional connection, the focus on physical appearance over personality, and the unrealistic expectations created by carefully crafted scenes. Recognizing the manipulative tactics, pornography employs various techniques to trigger cravings and hijack your rational thinking. Awareness allows you to identify these tactics, such as the use of explicit imagery, rapid cuts, and unrealistic scenarios. Once you recognize them, you can choose not to be manipulated. Here are some practical tools to cultivate awareness. Mindfulness, meditation, Regular meditation practice allows you to train your mind to observe thoughts and emotions without getting swept away by them. This detached observation empowers you to see cravings for pornography arise and pass without acting upon them. Journaling. Writing down your thoughts and feelings surrounding pornography use can be a powerful tool for self-discovery. As you journal, you might uncover deeper emotions or beliefs driving your behavior, allowing you to address the root cause. Body scans. Regular body scans, a mindfulness technique where you focus your attention on different parts of your body, can help you identify physical sensations associated with cravings. By becoming aware of these bodily cues, you can choose healthy coping mechanisms to address them. Cultivating awareness doesn't mean becoming a passive observer of your thoughts and desires. It's about actively engaging with your internal experience, recognizing distortions, and making informed choices. As you develop this awareness, you'll see pornography for what it truly is, a carefully constructed illusion designed to manipulate your emotions and behavior. Empowered by this clarity, you can choose to invest your energy in building genuine connections and cultivating a fulfilling life free from the deceptive allure of pornography. Six, finding sanctuary in the present moment. Imagine yourself caught in a relentless storm. The wind howls, whipping rain against your face. Lightning flashes, momentarily illuminating a landscape of chaos and uncertainty. Fear threatens to overwhelm you as you desperately seek shelter. The past offers no solace. The storm has ravaged your familiar surroundings. The future is shrouded in darkness, leaving you anxious about what might lie ahead. This constant oscillation between regret over past mistakes and fear of future relapses is a common experience in overcoming pornography addiction. Stoicism, however, offers a powerful anchor in this tempestuous sea. The present moment the core principle of Stoicism emphasizes that the only thing truly within your control is the present moment. Your thoughts, actions, and choices, these can be shaped and directed with conscious effort. The past is immutable, a collection of experiences that have shaped you but cannot be changed. The future is uncertain, a vast unknown, filled with possibilities. However, by focusing your attention on the present moment, you liberate yourself from the shackles of regret and anxiety and empower yourself to make choices that align with your long-term goals. Here's how focusing on the present moment becomes your sanctuary in the storm of pornography addiction, breaking the cycle of craving. Cravings for pornography often arise from a dissatisfaction with the present moment. Maybe you're bored, stressed, or lonely. By anchoring yourself in the present, you can acknowledge these emotions without judgment and recognize them as temporary states, not permanent realities. This awareness weakens the urge to escape into the distorted reality of pornography, building emotional resilience. The present moment isn't always comfortable. It might be filled with challenges and frustrations. However, by focusing on what is happening right now, you develop the emotional resilience to navigate these difficulties without resorting to unhealthy coping mechanisms. You learn to tolerate discomfort and utilize healthy alternatives to manage stress and boredom. 
Embracing mindfulness. Mindfulness practices like meditation train your mind to be fully present in the here and now. You learn to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing them to arise and pass without getting swept away by them. This mindful awareness allows you to notice the urge for pornography arise, acknowledge it without acting upon it, and choose a more constructive course of action. Here are some practical ways to cultivate presence in the present moment. Engaging your senses when a craving for pornography strikes. Take a deep breath and focus on your senses. Notice the sights, sounds, smells, and textures around you. Grounding yourself in this sensory experience brings you back to the present moment and weakens the pull of the virtual world. Mindful activities. Engage in activities that demand your full attention, such as mindful walking, listening to music, or practicing a creative hobby. Focusing on the present moment through these activities trains your mind to resist the urge to wander into thoughts of pornography. Gratitude practice. Take a few moments each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for in the present moment. Focusing on gratitude shifts your perspective away from desires and cravings towards an appreciation for what you already have. The present moment isn't always a haven of peace and tranquility. However, by choosing to focus your attention here and now, you empower yourself to respond to challenges and cravings with intentionality. You cultivate the mental strength to weather the emotional storms associated with pornography addiction and chart a course towards a fulfilling life. Remember, the storm might rage on, but within the sanctuary of the present moment, you have the power to choose your path forward, one mindful step at a time. As we stand on the threshold of freedom, let us remember that the journey is not an easy one, but it is a journey worth taking. With the wisdom of Stoicism as our guide and the fire of resilience burning in our hearts, we can overcome any obstacle break free from any chain and emerge victorious on the other side. The darkness of addiction may loom large, but with courage and determination, we shall banish it forever and bask in the light of our own liberation. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content on navigating life's challenges with the help of science and philosophy. Let us know in the comments below what stoic practices you'd like to explore further. Thanks for watching.